All right, so what's going on, everyone? Uh, pepper action tonight. Uh, it's been a little while since we've done uh, some peppers here. Um, so, uh, pretty, pretty uh, nervous about this one here. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Basically, I got a, uh, what is got, um, got a bubble gum, uh, Frankenstein bubble gum pepper. So, um, so, uh, don't know much about the bubble gum, uh, the Frankenstein bubble gum, other than, uh, it is a cross, it's a Reaper bubble gum cross. That was then crossed with a Jay's Chocolate Ghost Scorpion. Um, so, you got some really, really, really kicking peppers in there. You got the Reaper crossed with the bubblegum. And then you got the Jay's Chocolate Ghost Scorpion. So, um, as you can see, what's cool about these uh, with the Frankenstein bubblegums is they got the uh, tops to them that bleed up the stem like some of the other... Uh, bubble gums do so with this one it's got lots of placenta in the middle of that bad boy right there um, it's <laughs> it's not it is extremely coated with oils um, you got a thick placenta in there um, uh, I can't imagine that it's it's going to be uh, pleasant in any way shape or form but I mean, I guess we'll we'll dive in, and I guess we'll uh, we'll see. But um, like I said, I got this from uh, Jim Morrow. Uh, it's growing in the garden. I got my seeds started uh, from Jimmy's Pickles. Uh, never heard of it. I tried to grow them last year. It was a bad growing season here. But pretty much, um, I had a really good grow season so far. I got tons of peppers coming in and so forth. So trying to get into the rhythm here of. Uh, Trying to uh, trying to uh, dive in here and uh, just eat some peppers and so forth. So uh, really intrigued. Uh, cut a slice off. Gonna dive in. See how bad this burn is going to be. So um, I cut a nice little sliver there. So uh, this is a Frankenstein bubble gum from Jim Morrow at Jimmy's Pickles. Uh, it's a Reaper bubble, uh, Reaper bubble gum, and then it was crossed with a Jay's Chocolate Ghost Scorpion. So, right there it is. Mm. Seedy. Wow. <clears throat> That's got instant heat right on the moop, roof of the mouth already. <clears throat> it's lighting up the back of the throat. <clears throat> I will say this. Uh, with some of the reds, they tend to be that, oh, I get the hiccups a little bit, No, it's hot. Shooting out the ears. Wow. Um, with, oh, hiccups are hitting hard. Oh, with the reds, they tend to, oh, oh it's bad. With the reds, they tend to be a little bit more floral. It's not the case with this one. It is extremely hot. I hiccuping bad. My eyes are watering. It is just shooting, shooting out my ear, out my ears. The hiccups are bad. <clears throat> Wow. 
Hiccups won't stop. That is uh, incredibly hot. The mouth burn in the ears that traditional Reaper ear burn is bad. It is, shoot, it is shooting into my ears. I get the hiccup so bad. It is hot. My eyes are watering bad. Eyes are watering bad. The burn is very accented on the back of the mouth, back of the throat, the tongue. For red, it is not floral in a sense which some of those reds can be floral this one doesn't give you that floralness um taste to it it's more fruity for a red but that is wicked absolutely wicked the hiccups have calmed down a little bit but the back of the throat Feels like it is being blowtorched. It literally feels like I'm being blowtorched in the back of my mouth. My ears. Nose. Ugh. It is so obnoxiously hot. And it's so weird because I got no lip. All throat burn and a little bit on the tongue, but it hits the back of the throat so violent. My ears are, it's literally causing pain in my ears. It's shooting out my ears. It is bad. Ugh. I gave the option uh, to my son. I was either going to do a Maruga UV or the Frankenstein bubblegum. Uh, my son Ashton said, do the Frankenstein, do the Frankenstein. Man, bad mistake because the back of my throat is just, it's almost panic level how bad the burn is. It is so concentrated it's almost causing me to shake a little bit that's how hot it is it is wicked it is just wicked absolutely wicked um so with this like I said accident on the back of the throat a little bit of the tongue, not much lip, um, don't get the whiskey chest in the, the chest just yet, um, but shooting out the ears, which is traditional of a, a reaper burn, but it is obnoxious. That peaked pretty quick. I don't feel as burned, but it hits right out of the gate. Some of that Reaper takes a little bit to, to build. I'll tell you what, just biting and chewing, that got the back of the throat almost out of the gate. It was vicious and it was violent. And it was all throat, a little bit tongue. I got the hiccups. My ears were burning. Overall, though, for red, I would say it's not as floral as a lot of the reds are. Um, it's definitely got that fruitiness to it, which I like. Because um, just some of the red peppers have too much of a 
um, a floralness to the like that floral bitterness to this. I didn't get that much. I got a lot of that fruitiness from the pepper, but it was ferocious. It was absolutely ferocious on the back of the throat and the tongue. It came on hot out of the gate. Hiccups, ear burns. It was just bad. It was bad. Um, but for how high it revved up and how high it kicked in, it's kind of simmered down a little bit. I feel the, the burn coming down a little bit. But, man, that was just wicked right out the gate it was hot it was hammering um it it's to me it's not as hot as a reaper um but i would say it's it's up there with a lot of other super hots though um the burn is ferocious it's vicious um it's not quite reaper seven pot primo uh, level heat. Um, I haven't tried. I know I saw Johnny Scoville do the uh, seven pot or the Primo Tali, uh, which he said was one of the hottest. I have it out in the garden. I haven't tried it yet. I'm waiting on some ripe ones to come in. Um, so we don't know how hot it is. Is it the hottest? No. Uh, it comes on. It comes on hot. It's got a wicked burn to it. Um, but to me, it's, it's up there. It's probably slightly under a reaper or so. I've definitely had hotter, but man, it is wicked and it is hot and it is ferocious. Finally coming down a little bit here, but man, for that first couple minutes, it was into my ears. I had the hiccups. My eyes were watering. My nose was running. It was just nasty. It felt like somebody was blowtorch in the back of my throat. It was so accented on the back of the throat and the tongue area. No lip burn whatsoever on it. But man, oh man, was that hot. So, um, I don't know if uh, Jimmy Pickles has it, but um, that's where I got it from. I had the seeds. Uh, I think I grew them last year and I had some this year too. Uh, was growing them out and so forth. So, um, Jimmy's Pickles, along with like uh, Refined and Fire Chilies, has great varieties of peppers, seeds. Get on it. Have a great night.